Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming and in this session we will learn how to import data in R and most common uh, data files which people use are in Excel or CSV files and in this session we are going to learn how to import from Excel file or CSV file. The first thing which you will do is save your files in a specific folder. Here I have saved my files in a folder named as data import and these two files are there. This folder or this directory I am going to use as my working directory. I have saved uh, my file here in this folder and I am ready to import these files into R session. Here uh, we will first use the way provided by R. Here uh, one button is provided that is import data set. We will click that import and from text if csv file is there comma separated value file is there we will use this text and i will go to this our folder data import and there that totals file is there this is csv file you can see in detail view i will click that and open here many options will open name will be totals one you can uh, use your name i will give here name data frame df uh, encoding will be automatic you can uh, select encoding of your requirement but most of the time this default will be sufficient headings if you require headings to the file here headings are clear you can use those if headings are not proper then you can use this no heading and you can define those names uh, on your own row names will be automatic use first column or use numbers you can use these options also automatic is the best one separator this uh, data files many times uh, comma separated value files by default have the comma as separator but many a times uh, semicolon can be data separator tab can be data separator then uh, white space can be use the data separator which is there in the file here comma is there therefore use comma as separator decimal is period here if you see the decimal point is period sometimes decimal points are commas and if comma is the decimal point then you cannot use comma as separator then quote if quotes are there then have this that inverted quote use that to separate out quotes from other things this will convert that data to string comment no comment and na strings is equal to na uh, if na values are there empty cells are there then it will put na there strings as factors also you can use if your data contains uh, strings or character data then th that character data will be converted to factor variable you can click on this and say import when you click import you will get the code here this is the code for import and you can get this code copy and save that in your script if you want to use this view df is also given and please remember in function view this V is uppercase or capital letter and that file is there and we'll go to the script again df if you want to see much of it that df file got imported we have used these names uh, headers as false and uh, because of that reason uh, this thing happened now we'll go again here in script and we'll make that header is equal to true we'll run that run the file and here headers are proper now in script we'll go and here also uh, column headings are proper now okay. this is about comma separated value files if you want to import excel files again you can go to the go in the same way import data set and from excel you'll go for and here you will see the import dialog box and browse that data import folder I will select here and here my files are there and this is updated FYP data file I will select that and here we'll get the code okay. many other options are also there range is there skip NA this range is determined that read excel function determine this range automatically you know, max rows and all that but default options are sufficient most of the time click import and you'll get that some names are changed because if we look at the file I will go to the file and it's open I think here yeah it's open the uh, first line is used for headings second line is also used for headings this type of uh, naming can be corrected using special functions okay, we will not go towards that 
but i want to read from this file uh, from this uh, cell too that first cell is i think a2 a2 and the last cell i will go here this will be p and this range i will define p42 this range i will define here in the function i'll copy the function this code i will copy i'll bring that code here remove the prompt here i will put range is equal to a2 in inverted quote it shall be a2 to uh, p42 p42 a2 colon and p42 this all range shall be in inverted quote i will run that and now file got imported we'll see what is there in the file that updated fyp data we want to see and run that and here if we see the names are proper now another thing if you see that in our file different sheets are there sheet 2 sheet 3 these are there if you want to import data from sheet 2 then go to r again go to import data set from excel we'll go for data import updated fyp data and sheet here is default we'll go for the second uh, sheet 2 default is sheet 1 and here we are trying to go for the sheet 2 and uh, first row as names uh, we'll keep that a uh, range a2 to what range is there we'll go to this file and k k42 a2 to k42 we'll use that a2 to k42 and uh, here we are we will just import got imported properly we'll go here and we'll get the code it's not much required but i always make sure that the code is there in my script file run that and view updated fyp data and this uh, file data from sheet 2 of our file excel file is imported properly this is one way to use r functionality built in functionality to import the data from excel now we will use how to import by coding hard coding for that we'll have to set our working directory and this is always a good way to set your working directory for that we will use function set working directory use uh, inverted quote go to our directory go to the path when you click in the path the path will get selected i will select the path copy the path and bring that path to the uh, script window paste here and just uh, remove the, these uh, backslashes with forward slashes substitute backslashes with forward slashes this is one way another way is you can use two backslashes to get it correctly read in windows system i will run that now my working directory has been set now we'll use the we will define the data frame where we want to have our data that df and in this we'll store data using read dot csv first we'll import the csv file this is the function to import csv file as you see here in this we'll have to give the name of the file now here when we use the our built in functionality we got this path automatically but now we have to import this path we have set the working directory therefore we just have to get the file name i will go here that totals rename and i will copy this name totals1 i will come to our script window put that here and dot csv okay run that and head df we'll see that file got read properly this is about how to read csv by coding hard coding we'll go to read excel file using hard coding for that you will require library library read excel and run that again as usual you have to set working directory we'll set it again we have uh, set it earlier also but we'll set it again to get more practice click in the path copy the path bring that here paste in set working directory function 
change these backslashes to double backslashes run that working directory has been set here now df2 i will assign the data to df2 then read underscore my file is xlsx file read underscore xlsx how to know whether your file is xls or xlsx just go to the folder click on the file right click on the file right click properties and here you will see whether the file is xlsx or xl this is xlsx file and uh, okay here come here read xlsx function we are going to use and now here the file name we are going to use file name click here copy the file name and bring that to r dot complete the name of the file dot xlsx and run that file has got read but if you see here again the name issue is there we'll see head of df2 and we'll run that you can see here name issue is there because the file has uh, some empty columns in first row we don't want to read the file from first row we want to read the file from second one sheet 1 and a2 a2 to a22 p42 therefore we'll define the range here range is equal to a2 to p42 inverted quote complete okay run that and again we'll see the head and here you can see the uh, column names are correct if you want to read sheet 2 then for sheet 2 uh, we'll uh, read that in df3 df3 read underscore xlsx function file name is the same one and sheet is equal to 2 that range is uh, we have uh, found out that range from sheet 2 that is a2 to k42 we'll copy that here range is equal to and run that okay we'll see the head head df3 our data got imported correctly and there are many other things to know about how to enter data into excel in what format data should be entered in excel or in what format that our csv file should be there to read it out correctly all that things we'll discuss in other videos and uh, start practicing how to import data because that is the first step to use data for any other purpose for any other analysis and start practicing for that if you like this video please click like button and uh, share this uh, video with your other friends if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe your subscriptions and likes matter much thanks thanks for watching this video